Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to install Manjaro ARM on your Raspberry Pi. All of these links will be in the description. Very simple to do. If you've installed another operating system, minus noobs, you should have no trouble installing Manjaro. From here, we'll go to Downloads. And this is available for the Raspberry Pi 1, the Raspberry Pi 0, the Raspberry Pi 2, and the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to download the base edition. There's a minimal edition. I have not tested it. And there's a base edition. So we're just going to click download here. It's 1.2 gigabytes, so give it some time. While it's downloading, let's go get another application that I recently reviewed. This is called Etcher. I'm going to download it for Windows. It is available for Mac. Linux, Windows. It's 80 megabytes. What this is going to allow us to do is easily burn images to an SD card. And we'll just put them in a Raspberry Pi and boot them up. I usually use Win32 Disk Imager. And if you want to stick with that and you know how to use it, be my guest. It works perfectly for Manjaro. But I wanted to try this out because I really do like this Etcher application here. Last thing I suggest you get is SD card formatter. After you flash an image to your SD card for your Raspberry Pi, and you want to use that card in another device like a camera, cell phone, or your PC, it will not show up at the stock capacity. So let's just say we flashed a 16 gigabyte SD card. And we're done with it. We don't want to use that operating system anymore. We want to take the SD card and use it for something else. You'll need to reformat it with SD card formatter. The stock built-in Windows formatter application will not format it correctly. It will only show up at like 200 megabytes, even though it's a 16 gigabyte SD card. So right now, I have Manjaro here. It comes zipped. We'll need to right click and extract. You can use WinRAR or 7-Zip, whatever you want to use. So here it is. There is a disk image file inside of here. It's 3.5 gigabytes. We're going to open up Etcher and we need to make sure we have an SD card plugged into our PC. So I'm launching Etcher here. I'm going to select my image. It's going to be on my desktop in Manjaro ARM. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 edition. We'll just grab the disk image file, double click. It's going to load it up. Now if you want to change the drive that you're flashing to, just click right here in the middle. And as you can see, this is a mass storage device. This is a USB SD card reader and I have a SanDisk Class 10 16 GB SD card installed. Continue. And we're going to flash it. If you get prompted, click yes. Sit back. Let it flash. It's going to verify the file system and unmount it for us. Okay, so we successfully flashed Manjaro to our SD card. All we need to do now is plug in a keyboard and mouse to our Raspberry Pi. Place our SD card into the Pi and boot it up. I'm going to show you guys how to expand the file system and install a few apps that are not pre-installed. We're going to move to the Pi now. And we're ready to log in. Default username is Manjaro. Default password is also Manjaro. Press enter. Before we can start really using this operating system, we need to expand the file system. Very simple to do. Let this get started up real quick. And the first boot might take a little bit longer than your other boots. Let's go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi just to get this set up and out of the way. I'm on the Pi 3, so I have built-in Wi-Fi. If you have a USB dongle that's compatible with the Raspberry Pi, it should show up just like this. Or you can just plug in Ethernet. And you will always receive updates from Manjaro. Sometimes every other day, sometimes once a week, but this is very up to date. I definitely suggest if you're going to use this, keep it up to date. Your update manager will pop up when there's a new update. Go ahead, show available updates and update. 
Let's expand the file system because if we look at how much space we have on our SD card now, we only have 193 megabytes, even though I'm using a 16 gigabyte SD card. We need to expand the file system. We'll go down to the application menu here. Terminal emulator. If you don't see it there, you can just type in terminal here. Very easy. Sudo space resize dash SD. Press enter. Enter the stock password or the default password. It's Manjaro and press enter. Enter and we'll need to reboot now. Press enter and the system's going to reboot automatically. Log in with Manjaro and the password again is Manjaro. I'm going to show you how to change this. Press enter. So you might want to change your password here. We can do that very easily by going down to the application menu and in the search bar type Manjaro. We're looking for Manjaro settings manager. Open it up. Default password. User accounts. Now when I tried to add an account, I tried to add my ETA Prime account instead of using the built-in one. It went directly into the stock or basic Arch Linux operating system. It was no longer Manjaro that looks like this. This is like a, a nice skin for Arch. So what I did was I just left the username at Manjaro and I'll just change my password. So you can change it to whatever you want. Apply. Quit. And now your password is changed, so your password is no longer Manjaro. This thing does come with some awesome applications already installed. We'll go to Internet. We have Firefox, Hex Chat, Thunderbird. Under Multimedia, we have VLC, HDSP Mixer. There is really way too many applications built in to show you guys everything right now but I do want to show you how to install extra applications. We're going to focus on Chromium and GIMP. We'll go down here, application menu, the top, type install. Add remove software. So this here is the application manager or the repository manager for Manjaro. Over here we can search for anything we like. Now, Kodi does not work with this version of Manjaro just yet. You can install it, but it will only black screen. Let's go ahead and type in Chromium or Chrome. Right here, Chromium, the open source project. Double click, install. It's going to need some extra dependencies, so we'll click apply, and it'll show us what it's also going to install for us. Click commit. Type in your newly created password, or if you left the default password, type that in. Press enter or authenticate. Give it a little bit of time, it's going to install Chromium browser for us. In my opinion, this is the best browser for the Raspberry Pi at the moment. We now have Chromium installed. Let's go back here, and I'm just going to install GIMP. Now this is the GNU image manipulation program. This is free Photoshop basically double click install apply we'll need some more dependencies here it's gonna automatically install Python 2 for us and a couple other packages commit let that finish up we have GIMP installed and one thing I have not tried yet is RetroArch and I just thought about that and I don't know if it's gonna be located here Okay, so it is. I'm going to go ahead and install it. If it installs and we can launch it, I'll make a different video on this. I'm not sure what's going to happen with it. Okay, so we're going to install OpenAL, SDL2, and RetroArch. Commit. So we'll close this down. Go down to our applications. So we installed GIMP, which will be located under Graphics. Internet, we have Chromium, and now we have a game section. I have RetroArch, and I'm not sure if this is going to work, guys, but 
Okay. This might work out. Give me one second. I'm gonna go through the settings. Okay, so retro arch was not what this video is about. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but I'm gonna make a video on this tomorrow. Definitely, if I can get it up and running, that would be pretty cool. So we installed Chromium and we can launch it from here. And we'll also launch GIMP. So when you first start up Chromium, it's gonna ask you to set up a password for your keychain. Okay, it's not called keychain, that's on Mac, but this is the key ring. So we now have Chromium installed here. And we have GIMP. Now when launching Chrome, it's gonna ask us for a new password for key ring. This is just gonna keep all of our passwords and everything safe. GIMP works great on the Raspberry Pi. I'm actually blown away by how well it does work. Very fast, no lag at all. Back out of here. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Since I was able to get RetroArch installed here, I'm gonna try that out most definitely later on tonight. I'll get it set up with the newer RetroArch front end that kind of looks like Laka and see if we can play some games from directly within Manjaro. Pretty sure we'll be able to play some SNES and Genesis right through here. But that's it guys, that's how you install and a quick setup on Manjaro. I hope you guys try it out. Now, trying to compare two operating systems is really hard. The best thing to do is install this and try it out for yourself. If you like using this, go ahead. If you want to stick with Raspy and Jesse, stick with Raspy and Jesse. But both of them are pretty much going to be able to do the same exact thing. Manjaro may need a little more setting up. Like you just saw, we can install tons of applications very easily from the package manager that is built in. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.